studio called Khagar. It's an initiative for everyone and anyone who wants to become a storyteller. Uh, it's a uh, studio where they make animated script writing. So here we have a little chat with them. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, can you give, uh, give us the explanation about your journey from the scratch, key, how you got the idea, and then whatever obstacles you faced till now? Okay. So, you mean to uh, how I started and how yeah. I, it came in my mind to be an animation script yes. writer. So, uh, I was very fond of one film called Emily. It's a French film. It inspired me to, you know, look films and from a different perception. Because the screenplay of uh, Emily is such amazing that it made me think that films or stories can be told in different point of views. So that's how it started. It's a, it's a French film, as I told you. And after that, I started, uh, you know, learning. And I'm a self-learned person, basically. I've never attended any uh, college or, uh, you know, particular institute for uh, uh, script writing or film direction or something like that. I started by my own. By just reading, you know, I downloaded uh, uh, scripts, live action, animation, and I started reading them. And I came to know a little more, lot of things about the science of screenplay writing and story. And uh, I was I was a very shy person, so I used to think that to whom I should go and ask these questions. Uh, because uh, I was afraid that people would think I'm a fool or what. So <laughs> that's how I started by, you know, self-learning. And then I, uh, <clears throat> I got an opportunity to write for an animation uh, series in 2007, The Little Kitty Tales. So that's how it started. And I thought why not to write for animation. It did not, it, it was not in my mind to write for animation. But suddenly, you know, Something like when you are not expecting and something comes in your hand. The same way it came in my hand, I thought, okay, let's give it a try. And I found it very interesting. And that's how it started. And one by one, all the projects started coming in my hand. And my friends and other, other co-writers were writing for live action South Bowl dramas. And what I decided, that is not my cup of tea. So I thought, this is the best which I can do. Why? Because I, uh, after watching Emily, I always wanted to create anime, anime, not animation, but international, uh, you know, movies or something like that. So it gave me that platform. Animation gave me that platform to showcase my talent, my creativity for international market. And uh, I'm thankful that I did not choose South Guru drama over the animation currently. Yeah. Thanks, Vivek. So what? So after that, you yeah. So uh, into yeah, uh, I I founded uh, Kakhaga uh, two years ago uh, with my friend and my partner Sonali. So one day we were just sitting and chatting. She asked me, you know, different things about script and stories, how to create and all that. So I said anyone can create stories. She took she and she asked me for a dem demonstration. I gave her a demonstration. And she told me, why don't you teach everyone? I said, but to whom? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that if anyone is, you know, interested to learn or to understand because I found everyone is a writer by himself and they were behaving like, okay, I know everything. Why, who the hell are you to teach me? So, but she told me, you know, there are a lot of people who really want to do that. So that's how it started. And we thought, let's start something because I, I have, I, uh, whenever as a writer, uh, I had doubts and uh, you know hurdles and blockages, uh, creative blockages, blackouts. So I I never you know found anyone to teach me how to come out of these you know hurdles. I created my own formula, how to create stories. So she was the first person who asked me, like how you're going to create stories without pen and paper if I ever ask you because. Even I want to write, but I don't know how to write. I told her, okay, let's give it a try. And I just told her the 
how to use your senses to imagine. That is what I call science of imagination. That uh, is amazing and I find uh, it's uh, a beautiful mind game to you to imagine anything, whatever you want. Uh, for, for me, it's like a small boat in the ocean of, you know, uh, memories and subconscious mind and uh, imagination, which I uh, travel through and read different stories. So that's how Purpose was started and we started taking workshops and we found that people are really keen to learn animation, uh, not even animation, but script writing they want to. And I found that, uh, and I told everyone that if one can write for animation, he can write anything. That is the thing. It's a really great initiative because you know you're really kind. You know, like a, a mentor and speaking skill. <laughs> so uh, we obviously had a good experience with your as uh, students, but how was your interaction with us, the students of Reva? Well, it was amazing because uh, uh, as a, a studio, Kakhaga always, you know, uh, try to find new uh, talent for animation script writing. So we are in search of script writers who can write for animation with us mm -hmm. and hardly we find anyone because you know most of the people we, uh, we meet they they keen to write for big big budget films or those kind of things which I'm not against of it but they, they should have some patience before going there. Uh, but when I came here and I found all these guys and girls are mostly related to you know not mostly you know, overall they are related to animation. Mm -hmm. So I said, wow, now I can count hundred, over hundred uh, students who are keen to learn animation script writing. So my search, uh, you know, as a founder of Kirk Hoga, yeah, you know, I, I won't say ended, but, you know, uh, took a launch pad, you know, I got a la launch pad here from here. And that's how it started and I found it very amazing. That is so interesting. Uh, and you read the scripts yeah. of the students, so what is your take on that? I find they're very, uh, very curious and uh, curiosity is the main thing mm -hmm. which will make you learn or, you know, to understand things. And these, these uh, students are very brilliant and I think they need, you know, a, a bit of polishing and uh, um, a different kind of treatment they have to understand. But they, they are very uh, intelligent students. Definitely, we will do the workshops yeah. more and more in the future. Yeah. Uh, so, do you have any piece of advice for the students? Yeah. yeah. So, I would advise them that, which I advise everyone who really wants to imagine, is that go at home or anywhere, be crazy. Mm -hmm. Sit on, you know, just on a chair or lie down on the floor and try to look the world from a child point of view or maybe their front of you when they were child. Okay. So that's how you're going to see that world in a different aspect and different scenarios. And that's how you are going to explore a new world. That is a really good thing. Nice <laughs> <laughs> that's how I do actually. Okay. Uh, 